Marco Botti is looking for a quick double here on the July course, having taken the three-runner conditions race with Hasso Pop. He has Sinafe here. Uh, Marco, Hasso Pop, well, I suppose he was the only one that went on the ground, but you must be pleased nonetheless. Yes, he, he won nicely. Uh, I was a bit concerned, I you know, the ground. I mean, he won uh, uh, 10 days ago at the Yarmouth on good ground. Uh, today, obviously, different uh, condition, but he, he, he went through, so really pleased. How high do you think he could go this year? He, I think he's a stake source, uh, definitely, but um, probably today he is small field, uh, you know, it just uh, is, you know, um, done uh, really well for him, you know, just to give him a big confidence and before we step him up in class. And I thought in a mixed bunch in the paddock, your horse Sinafe stood out as one of the as one of the nicer types, would you agree? Yes, I agree. She's very tough. Uh, she won a Folkestone uh, and made an English style. Uh, again, it's a two-year-old on this ground, you never know, but uh, in my opinion, uh, she, she should handle uh, you know, the ground and um, trip is fine, so, so she's in good order. Confident as you can be. Yeah. Marco, good luck. Thank you. Cheers. Right, about to go behind then, and it will be loading up very shortly. Kimberell is 5-2, to two, just eased out from 9-4. to Hakon is 7-2, to 4-1 to on Oasis uh, Keynes even. Rated is 6-1, to 8-1, to one and bigger than the rest. So Kimberella heads the market for the Earl of Euston Nursery. The Earl of Euston, uh, a much missed figure who passed away a couple of years ago, closely associated with the racing interest of his brother-in-law, Edward St George. You remember some tremendous horses such as Desert Prince and indeed Bahamian Pirate and Continent who were second and first respectively in the same year for Dandy Nichols in the July Cup. Kimberella the 5-2 to two favourite for this race named in his honour. Uh, James we've talked about a couple in some depth, we've spoken to Marco Botti, it's quite a warm race, plenty of fancied ones. Yeah, I'll start with the favourite, three starts each time improving and last time beating the Ginger Goose, gamely in the finish, um, posting his best effort yet, yeah, he's thriving as far as you can predict these things, conditions shouldn't be a problem for him, but that should have been the case for, for our beaten favourite in the last, and he ran like his legs were tied together. Um, your pick for the race is Echion? I like Echion on the basis of that Salisbury form. Uh, there are plenty of these improving, and the grounds are massive imponderable, really. All in, then, for this nursery is Richard. And they're off and racing. And uh, from the stalls, Oasis Can jumps out alertly towards the outside of the field, and also Senefe is into stride well, and those two lead early on up the centre of the track. With Rated in the yellow colours and Getaway Car on the extreme right in the cheek pieces, at this stage, Kimberella, who is keen on the way to post, is held up towards the rear behind the grey Tommy's Secret, and Echion with the white cap buried away towards the rear of the field. So up front, Senefe and Mirko de Muro in the orange sleeves from Oasis Can, yeah, then Rated in the yellow jacket just ahead of Getaway Car, Kimberella making a little ground, but still a little keen, with Tommy's secret and Echion, who's bustled up by Richard Hughes at the rear of the field. Senefe leading from Oasis Can as they head on down towards halfway. Rated off the bridle, getaway car now being driven. Tommy's secret, the grey, with Kimberella and also Echion, still the last trio. Senefe, Oasis Can still travelling comfortably on the leader's quarters. Rated now push coming to shove. Kimberella making ground for Frankie Dottori in the maroon colours, moves through into third. And then behind these, Rated Echion still struggling to get on terms. Senefe Fay and Oasis can have been at this hammer and tongs throughout. Kimberella trying to join in, switched over to the far side, but still Senna Fay in the orange sleeves. Oasis can on the far side. Kimberella now bidding to gather in the leader. Senna Fay still with a narrow lead. Kimberella against the far side has moved through alongside and now moves to the lead for Frankie Dottori and Michael Bell. It's Kimberella from Senna Fay. Oasis can rallying Kimberella, who pulled hard, getting a little weary on the run to the line. The other two coming back. Senna Fay and Oasis can. Kimberella will be all out and at the line may well have been pinched right on the line by Senefe with Oasis Can and also on the far side Kimberella. Another terrific three-way finish that the judge will need be needed to decide. Yeah, spot on Richard. Cracking finishes all day. That would indicate that in the middle Senefe's got back up. First number four, Senefe. Second number five. Third number two. So that's the way of things. Santa Fe wins, beats the Oasis Canada, and Kimberella was only third. Who would have thought? As we move back to Chester.